You may have heard in the news about the recent breakthrough in science regarding nuclear fusion. But what is nuclear fusion? What did scientists achieve in their latest experiments? I am Ole and I will take over the narration on Henrik's channel today since he is currently sick. So here's a friendly reminder to like and subscribe so he will get better soon. For this video we also have the assistance of a physicist. All about the nuclear fusion breakthrough will be explained here in detail. Nuclear fusion research is nothing new. Since around 50 years scientists are inventing this technique to use it as an efficient energy source in the future. However, we should not confuse nuclear fusion with nuclear fission, which we are using already to produce energy in reactors all around the globe. During nuclear fission, the nucleus of a heavy element, such as uranium, is broken down into two or more smaller nuclei. This process produces a large amount of energy. By the way, the process of nuclear fission also happens in a nuclear bomb. The process of nuclear fission as an energy source is that radioactive waste is a byproduct. On top of that, we all are aware of the environmental hazard of nuclear catastrophes as known from Chernobyl and Fukushima. The problem here, nuclear fission reactions cannot be stopped easily, which is a tremendous risk. There is no such comparable risk when speaking about nuclear fusion. In contrast to nuclear fission, which we already use in our power plants, nuclear fusion is something different. Nuclear fusion is combining or fusing two light nuclei into a single heavier nucleus. This reaction, however, requires very high temperature. Until today, this technology of nuclear fusion is not feasible yet. However, there is a natural example, the Sun, which is a gigantic nuclear fusion apparatus. The question is why are scientists trying to achieve to establish nuclear fusion as a new energy source? In contrast to nuclear fission, no radioactive substances are produced. Instead, harmless helium is the outcome in the fusion process. Also, the reactants, the hydrogen isotopes, can be easily obtained via extraction of seawater. So, what did the US researchers achieve in the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory's National Ignition Facility in California? The important condition to establish a new energy source is that more energy is produced than invested. And this is exactly what scientists could successfully demonstrate in a lab for the first time in history. As we have seen earlier, Two light nuclei are fused together during nuclear fusion to one heavier nucleus to produce energy. The technique here is based on hydrogen isotopes. More specifically, the US scientists used deuterium and tritium, two isotopes of hydrogen atoms, which are heavier than hydrogen because of their additional neutrons. Inside a cylindrical chamber, deuterium and tritium fuel was packed into a small capsule with the size of a peppercorn. To fuse these hydrogen isotopes together, extremely high temperatures are required. In California, they used lasers for this reaction to heat up the inner parts of the cylinder. Laser light reaches the cylindrical chamber to heat it up inside. UV is converted into X-rays. The X-rays cause an implosion of the capsule containing the deuterium-tritium fuel. What happens inside? The hydrogen isotopes are fused to helium and thereby a lot of energy is produced. All in all, 192 lasers were used in the experiment so that the hydrogen atoms could fuse to helium. The remarkable thing here the scientists measured a higher yield than they invested into the reaction. In other words, it was the first ever controlled fusion reaction with an energy gain. Real-time history. And since nuclear fusion is considered a clean and safe alternative energy source, this may be a great step for humanity. So this is fantastic news, but how long do we have to wait until we can use nuclear fusion as an actual energy source. Despite the amazing success, it will still take many more years 
and a lot of improvements until we can use nuclear fusion in power plants to produce clean energy. Despite the exciting news of a net energy gain of 50% under laboratory conditions, we have to be accurate here. A whole lot of more energy is required to power the lasers. It will take a lot of time to improve that, but we have great proof right now that it is possible to gain a net energy overshot by a controlled nuclear fusion. And this is exciting news. Maybe one day in the future we will be able to control this promising source of energy. Please check out this intriguing video here and don't forget to like and subscribe to Henrik's channel. I swear he is going to be back in the next video to bring you more science goodness. Special thanks to Haywood Wu for helping out with the physics and thanks to me as well for providing my fantastic voice. Wow, he really made me say that. <laughs> thanks for watching everyone.